I need a clarification. I mean, I'm not so sure about it. The Jews uh, believe in the Old Testament, isn't it? And uh, the Christians don't uh, follow the Old Testament. What is the logic behind this? And uh, can you explain, I mean, uh, why they don't consider the Old Testament important and is the New Testament that they take into consideration while the Jews take on to the Old Testament? The Buddhists say the Jews take on to the Old Testament. The Christians, they're supposed to follow the Old Testament. Why do they only stick on to the New Testament? Brother, just as I outlined, the Bible is two parts, the Old Testament and New Testament. Old Testament deals with the lifestyle of the prophets that came before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. New Testament, it starts with the life of Jesus, peace be upon him, and about his apostles and all. So there are two divisions. Now, the Jews are supposed to follow the Torah, the Psalms, everything that's there. That is the complete Old Testament. So Jews are sticking to that. Now, as far as the Christians are concerned, theoretically they have to follow both. If they don't follow both, the whole Christianity will fall apart. Why? Because whatever is in the New Testament, it is based on the Old Testament. The prophecy of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, they claim that he is God. So whatever they claim. So their claim is only supported by the prophecy of the Old Testament, which we disclaim. We say these prophecies are about the prophet coming, not about a God coming. Based on the Old Testament is the New Testament built. Without the Old Testament, the New Testament on its own doesn't have any value. So many of the Christians don't know about this. So theoretically, without the Old Testament, for Jesus Christ people says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20, Think not that I have come to destroy the law and the prophets. I have come not to destroy but to fulfill. Till the heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle can pass away from the law and all be fulfilled. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments and treat the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So according to Jesus Christ, unless you are not more pure than the Jews, unless you don't follow all the laws and commandments of the Jews, you cannot go to paradise. So if you take out the laws of the Jews, how can you go to paradise? So according to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the New Testament is built on the Old Testament. So theoretically, they have to follow. If they don't follow, they cannot be a good Christian. They cannot enter paradise. So they have to... Sorry? No, they have to say theoretically. But practically, when we argue with them and prove to them that from the Old Testament, we come to know about the prophets of Muhammad No, we don't follow the Old Testament. These people who don't have much knowledge, but a knowledgeable person cannot say that. Because if they don't follow the Old Testament, the New Testament itself carries no weight. Because if the New Testament says that you have to follow what is in the law of the Musa alayhi salam. Read the Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of John, Gospel of all these Gospels, what Jesus Christ said, that it has been said of the old times. Thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say unto you. So what has been said of the old times? Something Jesus Christ has made his own statements. But as a whole, he said that you have to follow each and every law of the Old Testament. If you break one jot or tittle, you shall not enter Jannah. So if you don't have that law, how can you follow? So theoretically and practically, they have to follow, but they don't do it. So theoretically, they may give importance, but practically, when you argue with them, those who have less knowledge, then they say, okay, we only follow New Testament. So we can even prove about Muhammad from the New Testament. We can prove Jesus Christ was not crucified, peace be upon him, from the New Testament. So if you are well versed with comparative religion, even without the Old Testament, you can yet convince them what is now from the New Testament, if you are well versed. But actually, practically, they have to follow both. Hope that answers the question.